if you're a video creator or a live streamer and you're struggling to come up with content ideas for your channel, or maybe you just want a new perspective to then give you some ideas for your channel, there's a new feature inside of YouTube that can help you out. This is found in your studio, so studio.youtube.com, and you're going to go down to your analytics tab. And from analytics, you're going to click over to the brand new inspiration tab. Now, this is on my social media education channel. So everything's going to be framed toward what I could be teaching, but you're going to find specific options to your channel as well. So here we are going to see what people are looking for. These are topics that are relevant and being searched right now in the algorithm system. So for me, it's trending topics, reels, thumbnails, and TikTok strategy. If those are relevant to me, I can gain inspiration from those. And if they're not, I can click on the show all button. From there, it's going to give me even more ideas. I can go through these, I can decide what I want, and I have the ability to click a little heart right there so that I can save those for later. Going back, I now have the ability to look a little bit lower and it says new videos to inspire you. These new videos are what other people are creating right now that are performing well. You can gain inspiration from their thumbnails, from their titles. You can even go and watch their videos, but I do recommend getting your inspiration down before you watch their videos so that you're not taking the exact same things that they're doing. Oftentimes we can see what is working well and then come up with our own spin on it without ever having to watch their content. So it's entirely up to you what's going to work best, but you can kind of see if someone is doing really well in an area, you might want to go cruise through their channel, see what they're doing and see what's happening inside of their comment section. Questions that people are asking that were not answered in their videos could very well be very good content for you. Now, of course, you do have the option to click that show all button and it will expand it to more ideas for you as well. However, there is another section that's a little bit higher that we skipped over. And this is where we're going to get ideas for your next video. And there is a search bar there. So you're going to think of a topic. What is a topic that you could potentially be creating content for in your specific niche? Let's talk about how to decorate a baby room. And from there, I am going to click on that. It's going to start giving me ideas. We can scroll down a little bit and we can see your viewer's interest in that topic. It's going to be a little bit low for me because it's not at all what I talk about on my channel. And I'm going to be able to come down to similar ideas. So it's going to give me ideas for similar ideas and what people are watching in that area. So I can see what other people are going to be doing. I can expand that to show all, but I can also look at top searches for this topic. And it's going to show me high volume things, medium volume things that I can go through and expand that to look for even more. Now, if I scroll back up to the top, if that is the topic that I want to use, they have this beautiful little button here that says create outline. From there, I am going to let AI do its magic and it's going to go through and give me different topics that I can be doing. This now allows me to create this one as a topic with different bullet points or I can create one great big long comprehensive video or live stream out of these topics. And I'm going to be able to scroll down and I can also copy that outline, which I can paste into something else and go through that document and then enhance this with my own thoughts, my own feelings, take things out that I don't like, add things in that I do like, but it generates those ideas based on what is performing on the platform so that I can then implement that into my own spin and my own way of creating my live streams and the videos that I'm creating to put out on my channels. So by doing this, I now have the opportunity to benefit from what's already happening on the platform. People on YouTube are already having these conversations so I can lend my own unique voice and perspective to it, or I can level it up and look for those content gaps that I can then fill and use that to create the live streams and the videos that I am making to rank higher on the YouTube channel. So whether you are creating a live stream and you just need ideas for talking points or for topics that are going to be relevant to people, or you're creating dedicated videos for your channel, you have the ability to use this new feature inside of YouTube that uses the information on YouTube to then give you further information. I will say with all AI, it is still in its infancy. So it is going to be giving you very basic ideas. This may not be the best content for you, but it can spark better content for you if you go through it to see what is going to be a good fit. So if you've already answered that question, how can you reframe that? How can you do a spin off of that? How can you do a deeper dive on that particular content? 
With AI, it typically gives us that lower level content. So now you as the expert can build that up to make sure you're giving a better quality experience to your viewers, both on your live streams and in your dedicated video content. So what ideas are you thinking about for your next live stream. If you have them, write them down. Write down as many things as you can think of to make sure it is going to be relevant to your audience and a good fit for you and the brand that you're creating. And then head over to the AI inside of YouTube and see how you can grow and expand upon that. If you already have good ideas, By using this AI, it can give you even better spin-off ideas. So instead of just creating one video, you can create five videos or you can prepare all of your content leading up to your live stream where you're going to have the big conversation or you can plan your next five live streams based off of ideas that you're getting from the content that they're giving you in YouTube to learn how to enhance what you're doing to better benefit your audience and form that community and the conversation that you so desperately need to grow your brand and to grow the audience that you are working with. Drop your questions on this down below and follow along for more ideas on how you can level up your live streams and the content that you're creating to benefit your audience. We'll see you in those upcoming episodes. 